Great grind day, great grind day. This is your daily grind. Listen, uh, I'm gonna share a quick story with, with you. Um, I haven't really shared this with too many people over the years. It was uh, early uh, 2000. Um, it was a bachelor party we was doing for one of the barbers. And we went to, uh, it might have been one of my clients, yeah. And we went to the strip club. And uh, I was a heavy drinker back then. And for some reason, this particular night, I just couldn't, I ain't feel like drinking, right? And so uh, we at the strip club. I just wasn't feeling it, you know, for whatever reason. Uh, so I told my boys, I'm like, I'm going to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. And so I went to the bathroom and um, I don't know if they still do it, but this was when they would have the, the men, the bathroom attendants in the bathroom. And it was an OG in the bathroom, older, older young man in the bathroom, older young man. It was an older man in the bathroom. And uh, I always would strike up conversations with OGs because I was always looking to learn. And as I started talking to the OG, we were conversing, conversing, conversing. And he had said some things to me that really kind of shook me. And he said, brother, I don't know your name, young man. Um, and I don't know anything about you. He said, but my spirit is just telling me that you're very powerful. My spirit is telling me that you're going to do great things. And this place right here is not where you're supposed to be. He said, I need you to stop doing it. He named some things that I was literally doing in my life at that time. He said, I need you to stop doing those things in order for you to get what you're supposed to get out of life. And I sat in there and talked to him for I don't know how long until one of my boys literally had to come in. And I was like, hey, what's happening? Boom, boom, boom. And they were like, yo, I had to come check on you because you've been gone for almost an hour. And I didn't even realize it was an hour. Uh, there was a time early on during that same time period, I had left the club downtown Atlanta and I was drunk as hell. I was walking and this homeless lady uh, had, had said something to me and I stopped. I gave her some money and she said, I don't want your money. She said, I'm just supposed to tell you that you're going to be a great and powerful man. You're going to speak to many people. You're going you're gonna to impact people, that whole thing. And she said, but you got to stop doing what you're doing. And I just took it, you know, whatever. Th throughout those years, that was always in my head. One of the things that um, I always accepted it. But one of the things I would always say to myself is all these people had told me all these things, but my life didn't look like that was going to happen. Uh, my life was spiraling down. I was drinking too much. I was I wasn't stable. Wasn't the money wasn't I wasn't doing the right things. My character was in the basement, all these things. And so one of the lessons that I learned during that time was in order for you to be great and successful in what you're supposed to be great and successful at, you have to accept all of everything that comes with that. So in order for you to be who you're supposed to be, you got to accept everything that comes along with that, the good and the bad. And during that time, in order for me to get to where I was supposed to be, I had to let go of some things. I had to accept that I couldn't do what everybody else was doing. I had to accept that I couldn't be the way I was being. And I'm saying this to you just like I had to say it to me. In order for you to get those things that you want or be the person that you're supposed to be, take full ownership of it and you got to accept everything that comes along with it. There's some things that you need to stop doing and some things that you need to start doing. And remember this, it's not going to come to you from the outside in. It's going to evolve from you from the inside out. Y'all have a great grand day. We'll talk soon.